Hey YouTube, I'm gonna show you how to put custom firmware on the PSP 3000 and I have version 6.60 so let's get started so put the USB in like so USB mode and should go in USB mode like that that's all you need to do for the PSP and I'll see you at the computer Alright, so now we're on the computer now. So open up your browser. Alright, there we go. And type in PSB 6.60 and Pro 9 download. And I'm going to click the first one. Sorry, hold on. All right, now um, scroll down and um, keep going down, and here it is, six point six zero. Here we go. Download. Alright, finally. And you win raw, I believe. So you open it, you close the browser up. Close. Now, now locate your PSP, go to computer, right here. And this is the root of my mistake. So, um, PSP, whoop. Uh, And drag the, um, the pro update in there in the fast recovery folder. You look inside that, yeah, and close that, and you're done with that. Now, on to the PSP. All right, now scroll to game, go all the way down, memory stick, and it should be right there. So you hit um, the update, hit X. Sorry, I can't see it that well. And hit X to launch custom firmware. See? X. Press X to start. And it's gonna install it. Well, I don't want it to start the game. Sorry about that. It should. And see. And when I press the, press the select button, I have the the VSH menu, you know, where I, where I can go to um, uh, recovery menu and get out of that. Let's go to settings. Uh, I think I passed it. Um, system settings, system information, and it even says what I have. I have the uh, model O4G. And 6.60 Pro B9. And I believe this is not a permanent patch, so that's why we have the fast recovery. So, yeah, that's how you put custom firmware on the 6.60. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you later.